Interesting question. We are given that there's a drawbridge uh, with the length of, uh, uh, that is a value of LS120 feet that is stretched across the river. And the two sections can be rotated upward to an angle of 35 degrees, which is shown over here. So the water level is 15 feet below the closed bridge. So the closed bridge is on this dotted line and the water is 30, 15 feet below it. It means that this is 15. So we have to find the distance D. <clears throat> between the end of a section of uh, the, the end of a section and the water level when the bridge is fully open all right so uh, uh let's we, let's uh, divide this into uh, some pieces so i'm going to join this these two parts and this is connected this is also connected and this is also connected so definitely the figure is symmetrical so i'm going to drop a dot dotted line from here these two points and this is symmetric so let's say this distance is x so uh, obviously this particular distance is also x and this particular distance let's say is y the distance let's say is y all right so uh, first off we can say that the total length l is 2x plus y definitely and uh, l is already given as 120 so 120 is 2x plus y let's call it 2x plus y this means that 2x plus y is 120 let's call it equation one <clears throat> all right uh, uh, also uh, if we talk about this particular triangle if we talk about this particular triangle this triangle so this distance the blue one is nothing but complete distance d minus 15 because this is 15 and this complete is d so this is d minus 15 so if i'm going to draw that triangle separately this is d minus 15 uh, then the length l is already given to us although this is just x and this is given to us as uh, alpha which is given to us as 35 degrees uh, fair enough now uh, uh, let's see the length l is given and we are given that this is 15 feet below and we need to find the distance d we need to find the value of d from here uh, all right so uh, <clears throat> now there is one very interesting observation that if this is z and this is z and this is when the bridges are open and when they close the bridge will definitely completely come uh, over this river so bridge will be something like this and this is z this is z so don't you think that z plus z is nothing but equal to the length because they will definitely cover a complete a complete river so we can say that if this is z and 2z is equal to l and l is already given to us so uh, 2z is nothing but l which means that z is half of l and L is already 120, so Z is 60. So we can say that Z is 60 from here. So we can get the value of X definitely. So from here, that the value of X will be cos of 35 will be adjacent, which is X over hypotenuse, which is 60. So the value of X comes out as 60 cosine of 35 degrees. Uh, in fact, we need to find the value of D in uh, part A. So let's do that, in fact that is not required as of now so for part a if you work for part a then sine of 35 will be opposite which is d minus 15 over adjacent which is 60 so the value of d minus 15 or if you cross multiply 60 times sine 35 is nothing but d minus 15 so adding 15 both sides we have the value of 60 sine 35 plus 15 is d so the value of d from here comes out as let me just grab my calculator <clears throat> at a 60 times sine of 35 plus 15 this is the value of d which is 49.41 up to two decimal places and this is the unit of feet and finally they are we have to find out how far apart are the ends of the two sections when the bridge is fully open so in short we need to find the value of y because the y is the distance between uh, the two sections when the bridge is totally open so that is something which is easy because uh, for that i'm just going to move this part over here because this is part b now and this is part a so this is over here is part a and the, for part b i just found the value of x so from uh, this x i'm going to substitute that back in over here to get the value of y 
So the value of y is 120 minus 2x where x is 60 cosine of 35 degrees. So the value of y from here comes out as, let me just grab my calculator once again. So it's 1 minus cos of 35 times 120, which is coming as 21.70 feet. So this is the answer to part B as in the distance between the open bridges. Thank you.